Hey everybody, Steven here playing Red Dead Redemption 2 online and today I'm actually going to buy a hunting wagon. We're going to take that out and uh, just kind of explore uh, essentially as many carcasses as we can get on this thing. Now I'm recording this in post so what I can tell you is that it's somewhere most likely 15 to 20, maybe 25. So that is it right there. Um, I also unlocked the large wagon for delivery so I'll actually save up some money and then I'll do that and then I'll showcase how much money you get with that. Um, my guess is somewhere 300 to 350 with the delivery but we'll see. Uh, I haven't messed with the horses. We're actually going to look at those really quick too. But um, I end up getting 14 in this. Now a lot of those are alligators so that's why I say it's probably like 15 to 20. I also didn't go after and like try and scrounge around for like maybe like some rodents or something like that to see if I could fill that space. All I know is we get a ton, right? Now carcasses, you can only do X amount and then you can do uh, skins if, if you want, right? If you're going to skin it, um, which gets less with crypts, but you can do that and then uh, fill a little bit more space as well. So, um, But I did want to check and see because some of the horses that you unlock, depending on the roll... Um, I think this is one of them right here. We get the two here. Their stats are okay. I mean, for the price, they're not amazing, to be honest. But part of it's probably going to be the look that you're going for, depending upon the roll. That Cremello one looks weird, though. His eyes look weird. <laughs> but, um, so with this, it took me a second, because I was actually trying to find, like, where do I buy that? You actually have to backtrack a little bit. So it's actually before this menu which it takes you to automatically but you need to backtrack through that and then it'll say vehicles and then you can buy the two vehicles that they have right now so we have the hunting wagon or you have the bounty wagon so if you're doing the bounty hunter eventually you'll unlock that and then you can basically carry more people um, i'm assuming that unlocks there it is vehicles i'm assuming that unlocks different bounties that you can attempt to because of that so Got the hunting wagon, eight hundred and seventy-five dollars. It's not cheap. <laughs> uh, Thirty-five gold. If you're gonna do it with gold, so it is a big investment. But my hope was that it would make it quicker to pick these things up, and I think that's true if you're in a posse on your own. Kinda. I mean, I ended up spending a lot of time just trying to fill this thing up. So, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> it almost felt the same, to be honest. I did buy vehicle insurance. You do need to buy that because right off the bat, I wrecked mine um, trying to navigate through the swamp. Just thinking it would be like my horse and do whatever. That is not the case. So after we uh, do this, when you leave, one of the things you have to do, like it threw me back on my horse and I have to go back in. You have to click on the wagon and then exit and it'll do that for you. I don't know if you can exchange the horse. I don't think so um, I wasn't able to find that and for a minute I thought that maybe it was just going to be at the camp you know you have to basically take it out and then once you're done and you return it then you can get your horse back also so you can't call your horse when you have your wagon now once I crash this thing then the horse becomes available because the wagon is destroyed so like I said, it took me a second. I was trying to figure out, like, what do I need to do? So essentially just go to it and then exit, and now we have our wagon. So, and what you'll also notice is that as the back fills up with carcasses and skins and all that, you're going to see that white tarp kind of just have, like, a huge thing underneath it. So you're going to actually see it fill up. All right, so we're going to cut ahead and... Now you get to see me wreck this thing. So I'm like, I'm going to pick up a bunch of alligator carcasses and then not thinking, boom, done. Pop the horse out. Your vehicle has been destroyed. So now your horse is available. That's why I say get that insurance um, just in case anything like this happens or anybody tries to blow it up. So now you can see that that back end is actually full, right? Didn't want to do a long video where you guys just watch me do that. And you're going to see me try and fill a couple more. So I'm going to get some birds. I'm going to see if, hey, maybe the birds can go in there. And I've noticed with the carcasses, you can 
it's, and maybe this has to do with the slots. Like, I could only do one of that type of carcass if it was a carcass. If it's a skin, it's different. That's why I like the alligator skin. I could do a bunch of them. But this one, I'm just trying to throw the bird in the back and it won't let me. And then when you strip it down, it just ends up being the feathers. So you're not going to throw the feathers in there. You just keep those on you. But So I tried this, but I already had one. So I was thinking, all right, maybe you can't do duplicates. And then I f an, an owl fall, flies overhead. So then I'm like, all right, I'll do the owl. And that doesn't work out. So um, at this point, you'll see me kind of go over it. And I believe I have 14. I almost debated taking this into town too and just seeing what would be the price that I would get if I did this and then just sold everything. Because that's an option, right? You could probably just take this into town, sell all this stuff, get a good amount of money. But it's not going to be the same amount that you're going to get from a supply or a... Uh, a sale with the wagon right when you sell your merchandise basically because um, the medium-sized wagon you're looking at 150 bucks plus all the XP that you get with that which is a huge chunk um, so right now definitely worth it to just take this back to Crips so we try and do this again it won't let me store it right we I have enough carcasses so can't do that but just pluck it and then we'll look and see how many things I actually have in the wagon at this point where it's full. So we have alligator skin, two carcasses, three, two more skins. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six carcasses, and then the rest were skins. So, I mean, that's a good amount. Now, I don't know if that also is one of those things because you saw that I had a like a coyote and then I had like a buck and then I had some birds. I don't know if it depends on the animal size either. And then we actually take all of this back to Crips and we drop it off. And I was kind of disappointed because I thought it was going to actually yield me more where you see it. Like right now it's in the red, it's low. I donate all of this stuff and it like I think barely pulls me back up to white, like to good. Like I don't think I'll ever fill out that whole thing. You'd have to have a full posse just continually dropping stuff off. The buck was the huge chunk though, so the carcasses are the bigger chunks that you see there, right? And now we're good to go, and that should get me pretty close to the 50. I just gotta wait for him to do his job. And then uh, we'll be able to do that medium-sized delivery, save up money, and then we'll check and do the, the large ones. But that's actually it, you guys. Uh, I'm going to play around with this a lot more, and then as I learn more, I'll probably do a follow-up video and just kind of tips, tricks, more things that I've learned about it or anything like that. But hopefully that helps anybody that was looking at what the hunting wagon actually does, how many carcasses, skins, and all that that you can fill in this thing. And certain things, like don't crash it, right, and buy that insurance. But uh, that is it, everybody. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.